I'm Tommy Tran with your draft update. Georgia quarterback and two-time national champion Stetson Bennett is an L.A. Ram. Fourth-round pick. Last time he played at SoFi Stadium, he won a natty. Also following the footsteps of Matthew Stafford as a Bulldog entering the L.A. Rams franchise. I'm here with our Anna's Lige Duzable and Emory Hunt. Lige, I'll start with you. Your reaction, Stetson Benton, finds a landing place in L.A. And it made the most sense to go to Sean McVay with the L.A. Rams. And we saw some of the clips right there. That's what he provides, right? Athletic quarterback that can make you miss. I really like how he kind of worked on some of those mechanic issues that he had. At the combine, had a really good throwing session there. So I think this is a guy that obviously is not going to play this year, but – if you can't learn under Sean McVay, it's going to be hard for you in the NFL. And I think that he ended up at the right spot for him to actually have success in the NFL. Yeah, Lazay hit the nail on the head, man. Movement offense, movement guy, very athletic. You look at what John Wolford brought to the table. He was a scrambler. You look at what they had in Bryce Perkins. So this fits the M.O. And you get a guy that does what you want to do on offense, but also has done it at a high, successful national championship level. So we're starting to see a string of quarterbacks late fourth round, early fifth round. We also saw a string of linemen go in the fourth round. So we've asked both of you guys to target a couple of those notables. And again, Lige, which couple of linemen stand out to you? Yeah, it's great value in the fourth round for offensive line. Anthony Bradford from LSU going to Seattle. Me and Emory were kind of talking about this off camera. He just fits the mold of a Seattle guy. Mahler, phone booth, war daddy type guy. Really get that run game going with Zach Charbonnet, who they took in the second round, and Kenley Walker the third, who they took last year. Does a really good job of mauling guys in the line of scrimmage. He pulls really well in open space. Now, he does struggle sometimes in pass protection because he is a waist bender instead of a knee bender because he's so aggressive and needs to work on that technique-wise. I also like Blake Freeland going to the Indianapolis Colts. I mean, the Colts are having a heck of a day three draft uh, today. This guy's six foot eight, Tommy, about 305 pounds. I feel like he could put 10 to 20 pounds of mass on, and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference because he's so long. Very athletic offensive tackle, killed at the combine as far as the vertical jumps and all the testing. The thing is, because he is so tall, he has that high pad level at times, speed to power gives him some issues. But don't be surprised, Blake, Blake Freeland can mess around and be a starter for the Colts for the, eight, the next eight to 10 years. You know, I had back to back picks. You talk about City So from Eastern Michigan going to uh, the New England Patriots. He may hear his name called next week at the CFL draft because he's a Canadian import as well. So he was out there at the NFLPA game in Pasadena. He was dominating all throughout one-on-ones. And then Brayton Dangs, who was my number one tackle prospect in this class, goes to Washington, and they list him as a guard. Big fan of his athleticism. So now you can see a guy that can, like you talked about, Leger off, off air. He can play that swing role, that sixth offensive lineman. So I thought back-to-back -back picks, two of my favorite offensive line picks in his, in his class. We got to wrap things up here, but again, I mentioned the quarterback. So it was Jake Hayner, Stetson Bennett, Ooh. Clayton Toon, and Dorian Thompson Robinson. Real quickly before we wrap things up, the best of the four here on day three. The selection and the name is? Uh, I'm going to go Stetson Bennett because of where he went. I would say DTR, but I don't like the, him going to Cleveland. All right. What about you, Emery? I like DTR because I feel like he could beat out for that number three spot. We'll see what happens in the preseason. All right, we're going to wrap things up. We're here all day. More updates coming from HQ, but our thanks to Emery Hunt and Lee J. Doosable. Uh, a reminder about how you can keep track of everything. A CBS Sports app, Draft Tracker, Live Grades, or Chris Trapasso handing those out right as we speak. Download, check it out. If you're away, best resource. If you're watching it, two screen the bad boy.